What's up coders? So uh, I wanted to show you all a few more tags that you can use in your HTML websites here on uh, code.org web lab. Uh, the first one I'm going to show you is the list, uh, the unordered and ordered list in HTML. So the first one we'll show is an ordered list, which is an OL tag. So I'm going to put the open tag and the close tag uh, right away, similar to how the body is already set up. So I put those two tags, and then inside there I'll add an li, which stands for a list item, so item 1. So then you'll see that it pops up a numbered uh, list um, with the first item in the li tag. I put another li tag within the ol, then it will make it be item 2, and I can put a few more items in here and you'll see that it keeps increasing the number. So this uh, ordered list makes items that are uh, numerically in order. Uh, the next tag is the unordered list. So in an unordered list it's a uh, very similar except you put your li tags inside of the unordered list instead and then you'll see it gives you bullet points. So ordered list um, you make the tag, open it, put all your li list items, and then close it off, and that'll give you a nice ordered list, ul, unordered list, open it up, put all your li's, and then close it off, and that'll give you um, an unordered list with bullet points. Alright, let's go ahead and look at some other um, tags that we can use. So, uh, let's say you wanted to make a link tag. So this is the A tag. Um, wasn't really sure what that stood, stood for. Couldn't find it on the internet. But uh, we'll say it stands for a link. So you put A, and then you have to put this href, hyperlink reference, equals, and then I'm going to use uh, Google. So www.google.com. And then I'll close off the tag. And then you have to put the text that you want the link to show, and then close your A tag. So here I uh, opened the A tag, put the hyperlink reference to go to Google, and then I wrote the words that I wanted to appear on the link, and you could see that uh, here I have a link to Google. So you could make this say whatever you want, and the link will still go to Google. Some people might want to type in the website you're going to there, so it's a little clearer, but I'm just going to leave it as a link to Google, like that. All right. Um, the next tag I want to do is an image tag. So if I write IMG, I open that up. Then I have to include inside the open tag a source. So I'll write SRC. And then I've already uploaded a file using add image. Um, so you can add an image here. And then it'll see it in the source. And I click that. Then I close the tag. And I got a SpongeBob on there. So I want Google and Spongebob to be on different lines, so I need to include a BR, a break tag in between them, and I'll include two so that it appears on a new line. Um, I'll put a couple more breaks before the last one. And then the last one I want to do is a YouTube video. So let's say you're on YouTube and you want to um, create, and you want to put a link to a YouTube video. Um, Let's see, I will go ahead and do, uh, I'll just do one of my videos, Mr. V at PCA. So let's say I wanted to link to my previous HTML video. So I would click this, um, and then I will click share, and then I will click the embed um, property. And then this will give me the HTML code to put into my website. So um, this is called an iframe which embeds a video or embeds any website really into my website. So I copy this code and then I paste it into here and you can see I just embedded my YouTube video into the website. So um, in this video we went over list um, tags and then we went over how to make a link, how to insert an image, and how to insert a video from YouTube onto your website. Hope that's helpful, and uh, I'll see you next time.